Don't feed Gragas. Gragas is a magic damage caster with strong burst damage potential and an assortment of buffs and debuffs. He has an average 315 movement speed. Unlike many magic damage casters, he has a melee ranged normal attack. Gragas' passive is Happy Hour. Anytime Gragas uses an ability, he briefly gains health regeneration equal to a very small percentage of his maximum health. Gragas' Barrel Roll is a skill shot that is targeted on any location within a very long range. Once cast, a barrel rolls to that location. After several seconds, the barrel explodes, dealing high magic damage and temporarily reducing the attack speed of nearby opponents. Once the barrel reaches its targeted location, Gragas can activate the ability again to explode the barrel early. The cooldown on this ability is independent of how long the barrel stays active, meaning there is no penalty for keeping the barrel active instead of exploding it early. However, he must explode an active barrel before he can throw another. This ability has a short cooldown at max rank. Gragas Drunken Rage is a channeled ability with a short cast time. At the beginning and end of the channeling, Gragas gains a small amount of mana. If Gragas successfully channels the ability without interruption, he gains a large attack damage boost, in addition to damage reduction, for a relatively long duration. With cooldown reduction, Gragas can keep this buff active permanently. Gragas Body Slam is a wide skill shot that causes Gragas to dash in a direction. Body Slam can be cast short of its potential range, causing him to move a shorter distance. Stuns, slows, and snares will not normally stop him while he is currently charging. However, this dash is immediately stopped if he collides with enemy units. If this dash collides with a unit, he deals magic damage equal to the base damage of the ability plus a combination of ability power and attack damage. Enemies hit by Body Slam are also slowed. If he collides with multiple units, the damage dealt is divided among all targets. However, the ability has a fairly high minimum damage that it will always deal against targets, and the ability power bonus is applied after this. Putting this another way, if Body Slam hits multiple targets, the minimum damage can override the base damage and the bonus from attack damage. Since ability power is added after this, it's correct to say that Body Slam reaches a point where it only scales from ability power, not attack damage, against multiple targets. This ability can cross over walls. Additionally, it will hit stealth units and the dash will be stopped if this occurs. Higher ranks of this ability increase Gragas' movement speed while charging. This ability has a short cooldown. Gragas Ultimate is Explosive Cask. This ability is cast on a target location within a long range and deals a large amount of magic damage to all nearby enemies. Additionally, this explosion knocks enemies back a set distance from the center of the impact. This means that enemies at the edge of the impact will not be moved as far as enemies near the direct center. However, the knockback distance is still significant even at the edge. Explosive Cask cannot move enemies over terrain, though the knockback does ignore player-made terrain. Explosive Cask provides a significant area of vision on the target location. When playing as Gragas, you'll need to understand how to best utilize all of his utility. Though he's got an odd mix of abilities, it's best to think of him as a pure skillshot champion who can deal high bursts of magic damage. At champion selection, consider playing with champions with hard crowd controls. Anything that prevents a player from moving will dramatically increase the likelihood of landing ideal explosive cask ultimates. His happy hour passive should not be considered a serious form of sustain, as any amount of harassment or burst can counter its effects quickly. However, you should still keep it in mind when laning for long periods of time, as the health regeneration can help in these situations. It's also a good idea to remember while damage over time effects such as Ignite are applied, as a small amount of regeneration will occasionally be the difference between life and death. Barrel Roll serves three fundamental purposes for Gragas. First, it is a primary source of burst damage. When aiming the ability, keep in mind that it has a relatively slow projectile speed and enemies can easily dodge it at longer distances. Try to use it on closer enemies or on enemies that have been slowed by your body slam or by a teammate. Waiting a few moments to ensure your target is slowed is almost always better than firing the barrel immediately and missing. The other value of this burst damage is that it allows Gragas to farm minions very effectively, even at a distance. 
Second, he can use it to effectively zone an area and prevent enemies from going near that area. When using it to zone, keep in mind that you don't need to immediately explode the barrel. Third, it is a very strong source of long-range poke, allowing him to contribute in standoffs when he otherwise does not want to move in closer. When using barrel roll in teamfights, keep in mind that it significantly slows attack speed, and therefore makes champions who benefit most from normal attacks, such as ranged AD carries, ideal targets. When fleeing from opponents, barrels dropped in the path can either discourage opponents or deal significant damage to them. Over longer chases, particularly between teams, this can soften opponents until you are ready to turn around and fully engage them. When dropping barrels in the path of a pursuing opponent, consider casting an immediately after use body slam to gain distance. Drunken Rage defines Gragas' playstyle. The ability is always beneficial in that it activates his passive and has no cost associated with it. However, there's a couple caveats. This ability is easy to cancel during the channeling, but doing so removes both the bonus attack damage and the percentage damage reduction. It's very hard to use the ability effectively inside a teamfight, and doing so right when you need to jump in will cost you valuable time. Not having it ready will reduce the damage on your body slam since it scales partly from attack damage. More importantly, you won't have the damage reduction going into the fight. Without cooldown reduction, the ability has a downtime even if you're constantly keeping it active. For this reason, having some basic cooldown reduction will go a long way towards maintaining 100% uptime on the buff. Outside of this, make sure you're casting it as frequently as it benefits your health and mana, and try to estimate when fights are about to occur so your buff can already be active going in. Don't overestimate the damage reduction on Drunken Rage. While it is helpful, it is not a suitable replacement for defensive items if you intend to be in range of high damage carries. One last note on Drunken Rage. This ability gives a huge amount of bonus attack damage. This can make it good for last hitting minions when you have the opportunity, but it can also net some damage on nearby champions once you move in range. It's not much in terms of overall damage output, but it's often free damage. The main thing to keep in mind with Body Slam is that it will be stopped by minions, monsters, or champions in its path, and the per unit damage will be significantly reduced if you collide with multiple targets. The nice thing about it is that it's a wide skill shot and therefore is easy to hit an opponent with. The downside is that it's a wide skill shot and is easy to hit an opponent with. In other words, it's not too difficult to land in close proximity to a single enemy, but it becomes much harder when other units are anywhere near the path you want to travel. If you miss your target, you can wind up significantly out of position. This is where the movement speed gained by higher ranks of this ability comes into play, as it makes it harder for opponents to dodge the ability. Additionally, don't forget that you can limit the distance you travel by targeting a closer location. For these reasons, positioning is always important, whether you're using it to get near enemies or escape. Try to always consider your location and your open routes with Body Slam. While Body Slam offers significant damage and allows you to get in range of a target, you must be judicious when using the ability. By using it, you are committing to a fight that can be hard to get out of. Make sure that you're willing to do this and consider whether you can still take advantage of the long range poke offered by more barrel rolls before engaging. Body Slam provides a strong slow to affected targets even at lower ranks. This can make it a strong ability when attempting to chase down an opponent, but it also makes landing his barrel roll and explosive cast much easier. Use this ability before either of those when facing opponents who would otherwise do a good job avoiding them. Keep the slow in mind in terms of protecting your teammates, particularly other carries. When farming minions or jungle monsters, consider using a barrel roll first to kill the weaker enemies before using your body slam. This can increase your damage output on the surviving targets. Gragas Ultimate Explosive Cask is straightforward. It offers very strong burst damage and can knock enemies out of position. There are two good ways to use this ability. The first is as a final cast to ensure a kill on a low health opponent. You should only ever do this when you are confident that the burst will kill them or, in the early game, prevent them from staying in the lane. The second way to use this is to deal damage while knocking an enemy in a favorable direction for you or your team. When attempting to flee opponents, this can be fairly easy to aim as simply dropping it behind you or your teammates can break off the chasers. However, it's much trickier getting used to the projectile speed and targeting at a further distance. 
Depending on your opponent's reaction time, movement speed, and any movement dash or blink abilities they have, landing an explosive cask that knocks them in these directions you want can be incredibly difficult. In these situations, try to know what your opponents have available and get an idea whether they've been good about avoiding other skill shots, such as your barrel roll. The knockback from Explosive Cask can work against the abilities of many allied champions, such as AoE ultimates that rely on keeping enemies in a small area. If you fail to land the cask in the right spot, you can wind up creating a much bigger distance gap that allows an opponent to freely escape a situation they wouldn't have escaped had the cask never been thrown in the first place. For these reasons, the basic rule of Explosive Cask is that you shouldn't use it for positioning unless you're relatively certain that you'll either land it correctly, or that landing it incorrectly won't cost your team important kills. With Ability Power, this can reliably clear out most or all minions in a wave. While this may not always be the best use, especially given the power of Barrel Roll in the same purpose, it can be useful when opponents are pushing a tower. By killing minions and knocking opponents towards a tower, you can guarantee tower damage on the champions that are pushing. When playing against Gragas, there are a few things you'll need to remember to be most effective. At champion selection, the best options for dealing with Gragas are champions who either have a high enough survivability to survive Gragas bursts and harassed, or who have the mobility to avoid his skill shots, or who have spell shields to block his abilities. Champions with immobilizers or other hard crowd control such as Rise or Morgana are also very effective at preventing Gragas from benefiting from his body slam dash. In lane, pick up boots and health potions against Gragas. His skill shots are well telegraphed and easy to avoid, but boots allow you to do so closer to him where there is less delay between a barrel cast and its explosion. Spell shields and abilities that quickly move your champion are always strong against Gragas because of the high damage of his abilities and how much time you're given to react to them. The travel time on barrel roll makes it particularly easy to avoid them if you're quick. During the laning phase, and any time there is a standoff or a fight that is about to occur, watch for Gragas channeling Drunken Rage. He does not gain the bonus attack damage and damage reduction if he does not complete the channel. Use any kind of harassment or skill shot against him during this to force him to either cancel the channel by moving, or to deal extra damage to him when he can't avoid it. Gragas reaches his damage potential by being close to opponents. He achieved this by successfully landing Body Slam. There are two ways to handle him if he attempts to come into a fight too quickly. The first is to avoid letting him land his charge on champions, or make sure that there are enough units around that the damage from his charge is dramatically reduced. If you can fully avoid the charge, you can knock him out of position, and this can be especially useful when there are nearby towers. The second is to quickly burst him down once he's moved in. Only do this if he is a primary threat to the team and has been building heavily for damage at the expense of survivability. His Drunken Rage damage reduction does offer him more survivability, but it is not by itself enough to allow him to survive focus damage from an enemy team. Body Slam offers Gragas his best escape. However, it can be completely negated by blocking his path. When ganking or attempting to secure a kill on him, do everything you can to cut off his best routes by physically blocking the path. The same concept goes for keeping Gragas away from carries. If you're playing a bruiser or tank, positioning yourself between Gragas and your carries can ensure he will not be able to reach them directly. Try to anticipate explosive cask. If Flash is available or you have any other abilities that can quickly move you, either avoid the cast altogether, or if you can survive the damage, get to a position where the cast will knock you even further away from your aggressors. Thanks for watching this Don't Feed. Be sure to subscribe with the button on the upper right. Check out my previous movie in this series, Don't Feed Hecarim, by clicking the movie thumbnail on the right. I've written a book on League of Legends called Learn the League. If you love these movies, I strongly recommend checking out the book at www.learntheleague.com. I stream League of Legends Monday through Friday here on YouTube at about 3 p.m. Pacific Time. Make sure you like me on my Facebook page and follow me on Twitter for updates. As always, check the movie information box below for general thoughts and series updates, and let your friends know about this series to help promote it in the League of Legends community. Also, make a post on the official League of Legends forum thread linked below if you really enjoy the series.